Some of you are watching this video right now. You don't even know who I am. And that's okay. I don't want you to know who I am. But I want you to know who he is. His name is Jesus. And he sent this video across your screen today because he heard your cry for help. And he wanted me to tell you today, friend, that he heard you and help is on the way. Hold on. <laughs> when we pray and we ask God to do something in our lives. Receiving that requires faith and it requires patience. But some of you, the devil has tried to twist your thinking. He's tried to make you feel like God is not coming through for you. He's tried to make you feel like God doesn't care about you. He's tried to make you feel like God doesn't hear you. He tries to twist your thinking. The devil wants to trap this right here. He wants to trap your mind. He wants you to think all these negative things about God because he knows that if he can get you to think negatively about God, then you won't pray. <laughs> you won't spend time with Jesus. You won't get into the word of God. You won't set time aside for you and God. You won't keep on believing. You won't keep on seeking. But God moved on me to come on here today and to tell somebody, hold on. Help is on the way. The enemy that has been in your life that has been trying to discourage you and tell you that God doesn't care and God is not going to help you. I rebuke that in Jesus name. I stand here in authority today proclaiming the word of the Lord. And he says, hold on, friend. Help is on the way. Don't you give up. Don't stop seeking. Don't stop believing. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying big prayers. <laughs> Don't stop asking God for big things. God is a big God and he wants to do big things in your life. In Psalms chapter 120 verse 1. It says, I took my troubles to the Lord. I cried out to him and he answered my prayer. Friend, that's the word of God. That's the B-I-B-L-E. That's the scripture. It's the truth that when you cry out to God, he will answer your prayers. Don't let the enemy try to get in your mind. Don't let the enemy try to mess with your thinking. Don't let the enemy try to stop you from praying prayers of faith. <laughs> the devil hates to hear a conversation that is full of faith. He can't stand it. That's why he's always going to try to discourage you. He's going to always try to come at you. He's going to always try to tempt you. He's always going to try to rip the carpet out from under your feet. You want to know why? How many of you watching this video, you're saved? Okay. That, that alone makes you a threat, child of God. You are a threat to the devil. So now he is going to try his best. He's going to try his hardest to stop you from becoming everything that God has created you to be. But I come before you today and I proclaim over you that you are a bold son or daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And you're not going to let the devil stop you. <laughs> Receive the word of the Lord today. Wherever you're at, whatever you're going through, whatever you've been crying out to God for, that's between you and God. But he wants you to know today, hold on, help is on the way. <laughs> Father, I pray right now for this one. Bless them and keep them today, God. Move in their life like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them patience and give them peace in Jesus' name. Amen.